everybody. I'm so happy to finally be bringing you this video today. I've been trying to do this video for like the last two weeks, but something has always come up or I haven't been feeling good. Um, I tried to do this video actually last week and I got a migraine and I was sitting here trying to do it with a migraine and it wasn't pretty. I always feel bad when I don't do regular cross stitch updates, but I really haven't had much of an update. Um, if you didn't see my last video, that I did, which was like a scary kind of Halloween-y tag. I didn't have a good summer or spring. I wasn't feeling good and I really wasn't stitching that much so I didn't have much to tell but when I did start feeling better, I did start stitching again and now I have a lot to share. So I'm just going to get into what I'm going to share with you guys today, not talk too much. If you want to know more about what went on, you can watch my last video if you haven't seen it yet and let's get on with this. So today I have two finishes to show you. I have three whips, work in progresses, and I also have a whole bunch of things that I got while I was on vacation this summer to show you guys patterns and whatnot that have to do with cross stitching. I'm going to show you guys my finishes now, and I have two finishes like I said, and I know you, you guys saw this mostly finished. It's this sheep kit that I got from Bent Creek from Annie's Cross Stitch, Crazy Annie's, um, and I finally finished it. Actually, I finished this a long time ago, but I never showed it. Um, and you can see this was like the only part I had to finish. But I love how this turned out. It's like one of my favorite things I've ever stitched. And you can see on here I added beads that came with the kit onto the flowers. I, I just, it's really cute. I'm conflicted on to what I'm going to do with it. I don't want to frame it. For some reason, I just, I don't see it in a frame. It doesn't strike me as being frameable. Um, so I think I either want to make it into a pillow, as I said before, or I want to, um, you know, put it on a decorative rod, like, you know, like that, and hang it up as a wall hanging. But we'll see. What do you guys think? The next stitch is something that I showed you guys, a pattern that I got when I was in Massachusetts last year. I got the pattern and the fabric and all the things to go along with it, the threads. And it's one of the Bent Creek rows. I love Bent Creek's rows. They're just long, really simple um, samplers that have usually a holiday um, theme to them. So because Halloween was coming up fast at the end of September, I wanted to do this. And it's the Spooky Row by Bent Creek. I finished this in like six days, I think, which I thought was pretty fast. It's, it's a simple design, but you know. Now the buttons on this one, I'll get close. The buttons on this one are not the buttons that they recommend it with a pattern, but I couldn't find those buttons. So I just bought, um, you know, Halloween themed buttons that I thought would go good with this from 123 Stitch. Go back down. And that's that. So now I'm going to show you my whips, what I'm working on now. I have three going at this time, which I don't usually do that because I find that if I'm working on too much, I'll never finish it. But I think I'm at that point in my life where I love to stitch so much that I like to mix it up. So I will work on one thing one week and another thing the next week, or I'll work on something for half a day and then at night when I'm watching TV or something, I'll work on something else. You know what I'm saying, because you guys stitch and you know how it is. Okay, so this first one is a pattern from the company Hand Blessings, and it's called Scary Night, and it looks like this. It's just little trick-or-treaters and a big scary tree with an owl, so we know why I got that, because it has an owl, and I love owls. Um, it did come with the silver charms that you see on it. There's a little ghost and a moon. Oh, that's not a moon. And a witch, and a pumpkin down here, so it has the ghost and the witch and the pumpkin. And I really like Halloween and scary things, so that's why I chose that. So I'm working on it now, and that's my progress. Of course, I already stitched the owl. Um, this is stitched on 14 count. Picture this plus Ada in tropical orange. That's a mouthful. So I'm pretty excited to get that one done for Halloween. I hope I have it done in time for Halloween. The next one I have to show you, I know I showed you guys this pattern in my stash video. I had this in my stash. And and it's a pattern by Mosey and Me, the brand Mosey and Me. And it's called The Thread That Binds. And it looks like that. 
just a really nice saying, cute and lovey and romantic. Um, I was going to stitch this for my husband to take to work, but this is stitched on 40 count linen. It's very small stitches and it's, um, it's challenging because of that. So I don't know if this is going to go to work. This might stay home and be on the wall. But let me show you guys my progress on this. Not very far, but you know, I'm working on it. Um, this is about one night of just working on it while I was watching some TV shows. I think I was watching a movie. Okay, and the last whip, Mom, if you're watching this, you gotta stop because it's the fairy that I'm working on for my mother. I'm gonna show you really quick. I have my scissors, that's why that rattled, but my scissors are in the pattern. But the Joan Elliott Lavender Fairy. Um, I'm working on this for my mother. I did stop working on it for a while, but I made a little bit more progress since the last time you guys saw this. So it looks like this now. She has both her pairs of wings and a little bit more of a dress on the other side and all the uh, fireflies that I didn't have last time. I am almost there on this. Um, honestly, it just takes a long time. There's a lot of color changing, so. My goal is to have it done for either her birthday or Christmas, so I think I can get it done in time. Okay, so now I'm going to show you um, some things I picked up while I was on vacation. Um, and I think one of these patterns I got just online when I saw it, I had to have it because oh, it was adorable and it reminded me so much of myself, the little elements in it. So I'm going to show you that now. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is not cross stitch, but can be added to cross stitch. There's tons of antique stores where I stayed in Maine. We stayed in a gun quit or a goon quit. I know some people from Maine and New England, I think, pronounce it a goon quit, or maybe just down here they pronounce it that way, but I call it a gun quit. Um, but anyways, and there were tons of antique shops there. I love antiquing. Um, I love just going in there and browsing. So when I went into one, I noticed they had cards and cards and cards full of antique buttons. Now, when I was taking a break from cross-stitching, I was doing a lot of jewelry making. So while I was up there, I saw these buttons, and I said, I can actually incorporate these buttons in my jewelry making. So I purchased some of these buttons, and when I got up close to them after I purchased them, which I looked at them, I didn't like really look at them, but when I got up close to them, I said, there's no way I could ever put these in jewelry because they are just too beautiful, and they're too old. Now, I'm not quite certain on the exact dates of how old these are, but they are antiques because I'm not a button collector, nor am I going to become one. Um, but I was thinking I could put these on some very nice heirloom samplers, maybe, or, you know, something like that with cross-stitch, because something that will stay, hopefully, in the family for a long, long time after I'm gone, maybe. So the first card of buttons I'll show you aren't as old as the second card of buttons that I got, but I just wanted to show you guys, because I thought since you're crafty like me, you'd like to see them. So this is the first card. Like I said, these aren't as old as the next one I'll show you. I thought they were just, they're just gorgeous. I just, it's one of those impulse buys when you see something and you just have to have it. But unlike most of my impulse buys, I totally don't regret buying them. <laughs> and these ones are the older ones. You could just tell by looking at them that they're, they're pretty old. Um, as I said, I'm not a button collector in the least, so I can't tell you how old they are, but they're just really pretty. I haven't decided for sure if I was going to incorporate these in a cross stitch sampler, like maybe make a huge sampler that's going to be like an heirloom for a family, my family, or um, I said a family. Or if I'm going to maybe try to use them as decor in my craft room, I'm going to make that video after I make this one. Maureen, my friend, who's been dying to see it. Um, but, I don't know. We'll see what we do with them. So the first pattern I'm going to show you that I got, I didn't get while I was in Maine. I got it from Crazy Annie online. I needed to have it when I first saw it. It's from the Scarlet House and it's called Good Company. 
it reminded me so much of my personality and it's just I, I really like it. I'm a solitary person. I'm, you know, married and I have a family and I love my family, but I love being alone. Like, I know that sounds weird, but I just, I do like alone time. So, um, it, the verse is, she lives on a hill overlooking the sea with only her dogs for good company. She doesn't need less. She doesn't need more than to hear the waves crashing into the shore. Now, if you guys know anything about me, I am an absolute crazy dog lover. I love my dogs like they're my children. I love my dogs and I love dogs in general. When I see a dog, I just, I have to go up to it and I have to give it attention. And if it's a strange dog, even and it comes up to me and it's excited to see me, I'll hug it. Um, so that part was, I just found that's me. I love the ocean and anything associated with the ocean or the sea. If you noticed about me, every time I talk about going on vacation, I usually go somewhere down the shore that's what we call it in Jersey, or the ocean, or the Outer Banks, or Maine, or Cape Cod, so that's fitting for me. Um, and then if you look at the pattern, I'm going to show you guys, in the pattern, there's actually three dogs, and that's what I have. I have three dogs. She has sheep. Uh, I love birds, and it's just, I don't know, I'm crazy because I think like this, but when I saw it, I'm like, that's me, so I have to do this one. guys get like that when you see a certain cross stitch pattern it just hits you and you're like oh my goodness that is perfect for me and I have to do it but that's how I felt about this one all the rest of the patterns that I'm going to show you are patterns that I did get in Maine um, or New Hampshire I should say because most of them I purchased in New Hampshire on my vacation to Maine there was this little needle workshop in Maine along the coast of Maine I'm gonna tell you what the name of it is below this video because I can't remember for the life of me. I'll give you the address so you can check it out if you're ever up there or you live around there. It's run by a very elderly lady, but she is the sweetest thing you will ever see. Um, it, it, it's one of the best like memories I'll ever have of visiting a stitching store. Um, she advertises online, so of course when I go on vacation I always look for stitching places to go visit because that's what I bring home for souvenirs. So I went to the store and it was like in a regular house, but there was a sign outside and everything and a sign on the door. So when you get to the door, there's a sign that says ring the bell. And it's like a little old fashioned bell, like in an old 1800s house where you have to crank it. So we did that and you hear a little voice going, hello. And she was watching her soap operas and she was so just perfect. like grandmotherly and I almost felt very intrusive being in there because when we came she had to open her store for us like to turn all the lights on and get everything ready and get her register ready and she actually had a really old cash register like when you'd see in the 1800s and it was just it was just an awesome experience but I got two patterns from her store because I would have bought more but I felt I was being very intrusive her home nurse aide came while we were there and just one other shopper came and, you know, she was funny and great and I loved her and I loved her store. But anyways, let me get back to showing you guys what I got there. So, um, sometimes when you go, like, to a place where there's a lot of vacationers and stuff, there'll be people who make handmade patterns and I got a lot of those in Cape May. So I got one in Maine of a map of Maine that I can stitch. And it's a very simple cross stitch, just you know, a nice little thing of Maine that I can do as a souvenir. And that's one of the things I got in her store. So the other thing I got in the store with the little old woman in it was um, a pattern by Ginger and Spice and it's called the New England Sampler. Um, it's huge and it's it, she had it stitched as a model on her wall. And when I, I saw it, I was like, I just, I have to do that to commemorate all of my trips to New England. Um, I haven't been to every New England state, but I visited Maine, Massachusetts, Connecticut, and Rhode Island. So I love New England. It's one of my favorite places to go. And I just thought this would be cool to get and stitch. And her model is beautiful. And I hope I can make mine look as nice as hers. And this is what it looks like. Of course, my favorite band in this sampler is the one with all the nautical things. 
So in New Hampshire, um, I did a little shopping and New Hampshire is a really good place to find a cross stitch shop because New Hampshire is a no sales tax state. So the stitchery store, cross stitch store that I went to in New Hampshire was called Yankee Cross Stitch. And Yankee Cross Stitch is actually the home base of By the Bay Needlework where the person who owns that, Donna, actually has all of her models stitched for her patterns, most of her patterns. Um, I'm telling you, I've seen By the Bay Needlework before on websites like 123Stitch um, and I've been attracted to them because they're nautical and they're whimsical, but I've never purchased one. But when I saw those models, I was just like, oh my goodness, I have to have some of these because they are just gorgeous and cute and whimsical and like I said, nautical. So I purchased quite a bit of By the Bay Needleworks patterns in Yankee Cross Stitch. So this first one I'm going to show you is a Christmas one and it's called Santa by the Seashore and it's just adorable, Santa Claus and his sleigh being pulled by some seahorses. The next one I purchased from By the Bay Needleworks is called Mermaid Cove and it's a mermaid. She's very cute. She reminds me of Ariel. She's a redhead, kind of like me. The next one I'm going to show you guys is called New England Whaling Waters, and I was a little shocked when I actually got a good look at this pattern. Um, it's beautiful. It's got a lighthouse and some ships, but I'm not quite sure. I think the guys on the little boat might be stabbing that whale with a harpoon. I mean, I get back in the olden days they did that, but I don't like whaling and I don't like harpooning whales, but I'm going to say that the whale is stuck close to the shore and he's kind of scooping it and helping it out because I don't condone that whatsoever. But I like the pattern. The next one I have here is called Pumpkin Hill and it is a fall scene. And it has sheep. And we know how I feel about sheep, so. The next one is called Halloween Cove. And it has a nice little Halloween scene on it. I just peek around to make sure you can see it. I'm not being creepy. But um, yes, it has a nice little Halloween nautical scene on it. I did have a goal to have this one done for Halloween, but. I already work on too many right now, I think. <laughs> so the next pattern I'm going to show you isn't a By the Bay Needleworker one. It's a The Work Basket, the company is called. I have never heard of them, but it's called Procession. And it's just a cute little parade of people dressed in period clothes with, you know, some little animals and some birds. And I love stitches like that, so... That's why I picked that one up. It's unique. It's whimsical. It's neat. And my last pattern that I picked up there, Yankee Cross Stitch, is a Halloween slash Christmassy pattern. I said it right, Halloween slash Christmas, and it's called, uh, what are you called? Frost. It's called Frost by the Cricut Collection from Cross-Eyed Cricut, and it has two patterns. It has this one here and this one, but I picked it up for this pattern. And um, it's just really cute. And my husband liked it. He saw it on the wall and he was like, I want you to stitch that one for the house. So, and I said, I want you to learn how to stitch. No, I'm just kidding. I didn't say that, but it's a pretty cute pattern. It's simple and it's done on a very, 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 very low count fabric. I think 11 count maybe over one or... Why don't I look? Because I did get the fabric for it that was in there. 10 count fabric over one. So it'll go quick. But it's cute for Halloween, Christmas, year round. I'll keep it up. So thank you guys so much for watching my video. I know it's probably super long even though I have to edit it down because I do talk to myself a lot during these videos. Um, again, I always appreciate you guys joining me for these, and I'm sorry if I haven't kept up on your guys' videos. I do watch them, I just forget to comment them because I watch them really quick, and then I try to remember to comment them the next day, and I don't because I'm bad. <sighs> That's my only explanation I can give you now. 
Um, but I'm always thinking of my crafty friends and my friends who watch these videos who aren't crafty, who just like to watch my videos because you like me as a person. I appreciate that and I love all of you guys out there, all of you. And you guys are the best and I'm so glad to be back doing this. I will go film my um, craft room now, but I won't upload it till like next week so I don't have two videos going at once. I like to upload them like one at a time. So enjoy this video and I'll see you guys soon. Bye! There's somebody using a chainsaw outside, so don't think that leather face is coming to get me or anything. Actually, we've had these out of the packages already from Bet Creep. Bet Creep. This is... <laughs> this is why my camera always dies while I'm making videos. That have usually a, hollow, ho a Halloween. Let me check and make sure it's by week's side works, because I could be making that up. I can't get it out. 14 count Ada by Picture This Plush. Plush. Frig. The bottle.